welcome to the testing world so in this session we are going to understand setup script so first we need to understand what is the role of the setup script then we are going to write some scripting so first of all i am coming to the project level and here on the project level so here on the project level we are going to get this load script option so means whenever we are loading a project when we whenever we are starting a project script which is going to run that will be a setup script setup script always execute at the start same like that if we move to the test suite level here we have the option of the setup script setup script means whenever this test suite is going to execute a script which will execute before the execution of this test suite is called setup script and same kind of a script can be found on test case level so here on the test case level as well we have setup script so setup means before the execution before execution means if we set the if we enter script in a project level setup then it will execute before the project execution then test suite level it will execute before the test suite execution and if we come to the test case level that is before the test case execution it might make you confuse why it's getting red so you know i have execute i'm using the same test project or the same test suite which i have ex executed in the last scenario because of that it's getting failed we not we need not to worry about it it's not related to our current session now what i'm going to do i'm going to write setup script on the project level then test suite level and then case level so to write the project setup so write the setup script what scenario i'm going to follow like we have two environment one is the real time environment which is a qa environment and other is this mock service environment so what i want to do i want to create two environments for that so first of all i'm going to my project level and here we have the option of the environment click on add so i am creating a qa environment and creating it blank uh, giving the name is QA and it's an empty environment. We want to pass these details by myself. So I'm coming here and that is my real time environment URL. So I pick this and going to again my QA environment and updating the endpoints over here. So that's my endpoint for. QA environment means real time environment that I have. Apart from it, I want to create one more environment which is for mock service. So I'm creating mock environment and again the endpoints I'm going to give like this is the endpoint. So I hope you remember in previous session we have already covered how we can do service mocking. So we have done service mocking over here and we are using that environment environment URL so I copy this and I'm moving to my project level setting the endpoint over here so now we have two environments in which we can work on going to the project level and now I want to write some load script so here I'm using project and dot set active environment and set active environment and i want to set active environment as qa even if you want to check that my correct environment set or not so i'm using log dot info active environment is and I'm saying project dot get active environment and dot get name so that's my so I'm checking it it shows active environment is QA 
right so first of all i am going to execute my test case so i'm coming to my test suite executing it so everything is executing on this qa environment you can check it over here even i go to the project level and i set mock i try to run it so it shows like now you are executing on the mock environment clear previous results running it again mock environment i'm coming to the test suite level and running it so first of all we need to check it over here like we are executing all the test case on the mock environment so we have seen how we can set different environment before executing our project and because we are setting this environment before executing the project so we have written that script in setup script so i'm moving to my project and i cut the script from here now i'm coming to the test suite level this particular suite i want to execute on mock environment rest of the suites i want to execute on uh, other environments but this particular suite i want to execute on the mock environment so what we can do in the suite level in the setup script we can set this and now and few changes like before we are using project object because we are on the project level but right now we are on the test suite level so first test suite then project and then set up environment so we are setting up environment for the this set test suite only one more update that we have to do like here we are using project so because we are on the test suite level so test suite dot project dot get active environment dot get name now i'm executing and here it shows everything executed on the mock environment you can check here that is mock even we can set it like QA and I want to see the script logs, clear the previous script logs, running it. So now everything is executing on the QA environment. Same kind of script can be done on a test case level as well. Like for a particular test case, I want to execute on a, any specific environment. So I'm moving to the test case level. That's the setup script. Few changes like we are on the test case level. So we can use test case object so from the test case dot test suite dot project and then set active, set active environment in the same way here test case dot test suite project and get active environment got dot get name so i clear this running it again so my environment is set qa and we can execute it i'm going to change the environment let's see it's going to change or not so executing it again now it shows mock environment and here is mock clear previous result running it again so it's mock so now we have seen how we can change environment on the project level like complete project i want to execute on a particular environment we can change environment for a particular test suite or test case environment need to be set before executing the test case or test suite or project so we are writing that script in a setup script in the real time works uh, normally few details that i want to use while execution like uh, i'm executing this test case with a particular user so i can mention like log.info this suite is executing for user and you can give the name of the user we can bring it from the variable or we can directly mention like test user and that information will be displayed in our so that's information is displayed in our logs so in this session we have seen how we can setup environment before execution of our test case test suite and project and we used setup script for the same so that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video